Hi everyone. Today in this video let us discuss top medications used for trigeminal neuralgia. Trigeminal neuralgia is a chronic pain disorder that affects trigeminal nerve and it produces sudden facial pain. The trigeminal nerve is also called as cranial nerve 5. It is responsible for carrying sensory signals from face to the brain. It is not working properly in trigeminal neuralgia that induces facial pain. This condition causes a severe and sudden electrical shock like pain in the face. This pain can be stimulated by normal activities like while you are eating or touching your face. It can also produce pain while talking. These sudden and severe attacks may last from a few seconds to few minutes. You may experience an electrical shock like pain or stabbing pain. The symptoms are unilateral. That means they are affecting only one side of the face and they are localized. It may affect the jaw, teeth, gums and lips. It may also spread to the eye and forehead. Trigeminal neuralgia will have less painful conditions during the early stages. However, if it is untreated, this condition may become more severe and it may occur more frequently. With increased severity, you may observe muscle spasms in the face. You may also perceive an intense pain in severe conditions. This trigeminal neuralgia may be developed due to compression of trigeminal nerve. It can also be produced by irritation of this nerve. Usually, the blood vessels around the trigeminal nerve may produce a compression on this nerve near the brainstem. This may result in the development of symptoms of trigeminal neuralgia. People with multiple sclerosis may have damage to the myelin sheath. This causes the damage to the nerve and induces pain leading to trigeminal neuralgia. Rarely, it can also be produced by the development of tumors. Excessive growth of tumor cells can press this neuron to induce a pain signal. A few other factors can also produce pressure on the trigeminal nerve. Any injury or surgery to the face may also produce pressure on this nerve. However, in a few people without any of these factors, still the symptoms of trigeminal neuralgia can be observed. Therefore, it is very essential to treat this condition to prevent the development of severe pain in the face. Now let us see the medications that are used to treat trigeminal neuralgia. First category of drugs are anticonvulsants. Anticonvulsants are used as first line agents for treating this condition. Drugs like carbamazepine, oxcarbazepine, gabapentin and phenytoin are particularly used for this condition. Carbamazepine is one of the most effective medications for treating trigeminal neuralgia. Normally, these anticonvulsants are working by modifying the neuronal activity. They can block either sodium or calcium channels, which reduces the neuronal excitation and induction of pain signaling in trigeminal neuralgia. Among these drugs, carbamazepine is one of the most widely used medication for treating this condition. It blocks voltage-gated sodium channels, thereby it reduces the neuronal activity. It can effectively control the pain associated with trigeminal neuralgia. However, it can produce few side effects like dizziness, sleepiness, dry mouth and headache. It can also produce few of the blood disorders leading to anemia and agranulocytosis. The effectiveness of carbamazepine can last over the time. So as the treatment is continued, you may observe decreased efficacy of this medication in relieving the symptoms of trigeminal neuralgia. Another related medication is oxcarbazepine. This medication has more tolerability and fewer side effects compared with carbamazepine. It is not producing dizziness and drowsiness that was observed with carbamazepine. It also has increased effectiveness in reducing the pain attacks in trigeminal neuralgia. Another limitation of carbamazepine is in the drug interactions. Carbamazepine can induce metabolic enzymes, therefore it can show potential drug interactions with many other medications. Such drug interactions are less pronounced with oxcarbazepine. Therefore, oxcarbazepine can 
work as an alternative for carbamazepine in the people who are unable to tolerate this medication. However, oxcarbazepine may produce a condition called hyponatremia, leading to low sodium levels in the body. Due to the decreased sodium levels, it may produce some confusion, sweating and lightheadedness. Another anticonvulsant is the gabapentin, which is used as a second line agent or an alternative to carbamazepine. It can be used where carbamazepine is not effective or not tolerated. Gabapentin blocks the calcium channels on the presynaptic neurons. Therefore, it can inhibit the release of excitatory mediators like glutamate. This reduces the neuronal excitation and inhibits the pain transmission. This gabapentin should be started at a very low dose and the dose is slowly increased for better tolerability of this medication. Pregabalin is another medication that also blocks the calcium channels. It can be used as an alternative or it can be combined with carbamazepine for treating trigeminal neuralgia. It can significantly reduce the pain intensity as well as its frequency. This medication blocks the calcium channels on the presynaptic neurons thereby it can inhibit the release of neurotransmitters. Particularly pregabalin can reduce the pain signaling in people with trigeminal neuralgia. Lamotrigine can also be used for treating this condition. It works by multiple mechanisms. This medication belongs to the new generation anti-epileptic drugs. It blocks the voltage gated sodium channels and it also inhibits the release of excitatory neurotransmitters like glutamate. It even modulates the calcium channels. All of these actions can control neuronal excitation. Phenytoin is one of the old anticonvulsants that is used to treat trigeminal neuralgia as an alternative to carbamazepine. However, nowadays, due to the availability of new anti-epileptic drugs, use of phenytoin in trigeminal neuralgia is somewhat declined. Similarly, the new medication is a topiramate, which can also be used to control the symptoms of trigeminal neuralgia. Again, this medication is a new generation anti-epileptic drug that works by multiple mechanisms. It can block voltage-gated sodium channels and even it can reduce the metabolism of GABA thereby increase the inhibitory response. This can control pain signaling and relieves the symptoms like facial pain. Next category of drugs are the muscle relaxants. Baclofen is one of the muscle relaxant that can be used for treating mild trigeminal neuralgia. It is a centrally acting muscle relaxant that activates GABA-B receptors. By activating these receptors, it can reduce the activation of adenyl cyclase system thereby it can reduce the levels of cyclic AMP. Therefore, baclofen can inhibit the entry of calcium ions into the neurons. This results in the decreased release of excitatory neurotransmitters like glutamate. However, this medication can produce central side effects like drowsiness and sleepiness. Particularly, these side effects are more pronounced in the elders. Next category is a tricyclic antidepressants. Imitriptyline and nortriptyline are the well-used medications for treating trigeminal neuralgia. However, they are not the first-line agents. They can be used as an alternative or as an agent to therapy. They reduce the uptake of neurotransmitters like serotonin and norepinephrine into the nerve terminal. This increases their levels in the CNS that can help reducing the pain signals and relieving the symptoms of trigeminal neuralgia. However, TCS can have significant side effects like drowsiness, dry mouth, blurred vision and constipation. TCS can produce anticholinergic effects leading to these side effects. They can also produce many of the drug interactions. Therefore, TCS can be considered as an alternative for anticonvulsants. Anti-migraine agents Sumatriptan is an anti-migraine agent that is effective in providing pain relief and controlling the pain in trigeminal neuralgia. This medication acts as an agonist on 5st 1B and 1D receptors. This prevents vasodilation thereby it reduces the pressure that is going to be applied on the trigeminal nerve. Due to this, induction of pain is less pronounced with use of sumatriptan. It is suitable for the people who cannot tolerate 
or not responding to the anticonvulsant therapy. It also provides sufficient pain relief that is increased by mouth movements. However, this medication can produce headache and other vasoconstrictory side effects on prolonged use. Botulinum toxin. Botulinum toxin is another local muscle relaxant. It is well known by the brand name Botox. It can be used to treat trigeminal neuralgia and it can relieve the muscle spasms on the face. It can be locally injected to relieve these muscle spasms. It is one of the skeletal muscle relaxants that inhibits the release of acetylcholine, thereby it reduces muscle contraction. This can relieve muscle spasm and pain associated with trigeminal neuralgia. However, it can produce some swelling and bruising at the site of injection. So these are the various medications that are used to treat trigeminal neuralgia. I hope this video is useful to you. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.